today we're going to learn how to make a laser beam effect using Adobe Premiere Pro. To get started, just drag a clip into your timeline and then go to your effects panel and search for lightning. And that will bring up the lightning effect. Drag that on top of your video clip or an image that you want to use. And uh, next we'll make a few adjustments to this lighting, lightning video effect. Uh, once you're ready, you select lightning and then you want to change your amplitude to zero. And then uh, branching, change that to zero. And then optionally, you could change the color of the laser beam and the width. Yeah. You want to use the outside color. Here I'm changing it to red. Then uh, let's see, I believe here I, I need to make some slight adjustments because the first frame is black. So here I am, I'm just gonna cut that out here. Using the razor tool. Drag that over. And then we will want to start adding the uh, keyframes. Select the lightning and then here I'm just dragging over the very the starting point of the laser. And that's the end point. Still a little confusing on some of this, but uh, play around with it and you can make it work. So you have to toggle the little watch to start adding keyframes. And uh, start with your first frame, kind of zoom in. And then you drag your endpoint. This is just kind of illustrate. You can play around with uh, depending on how fast you want it to look. Drag that in point, then uh, move ahead another frame. And then you'll probably want to start uh, moving the starting point. This part's a little confusing for me. I haven't fully figured out yet. But, uh, see, like that, I don't quite f understand that part. But anyway, you just move ahead of frame, drag the starting point, keep repeating the process until it's out of the frame or you're, or it's, if you're trying to get the laser to hit an object, maybe. And just keep doing this until... In this example, until it's it's going to be out of the frame, and after that, we'll have to use the razor tool and cut the clip, because uh, otherwise the effect will stay in the rest of the video. And it, if you leave the effect in, it'll have some kind of weird bouncing effect. So I'm going to try to figure out that. A little bit later. Say so that's still kind of a mystery to me. All right, so we're almost getting close to being done here. Cutting the clip, and then I'm going to.
remove the lightning effect from the second half here because it's not needed. See how it bounces? So there we go. We can just just remove it from the second clip, and it should be. Oop, yeah. It's almost done. I think I have to cut it one more time. Yeah, there we go. Once I get this removed, then uh, you can also add some optional sound effects here. I've got kind of an underwater sound and then I've got a laser beam sound and then the final video looks like this and that's it bye